Hi guys, Steve here. On the last episode, we managed to kill our first Death Worm. We wanted to try and get the Thorns to tame a Mantis, but as we need a lot, it's going to take a while. Most of our time now is taken up by farming metal. I clear the normal rocks with an elemental, while an anklo is carried around on a penis horse, harvesting all the clear metal nodes. We have a lot of metal now. As we've got a few turrets up on our base to protect it, and we've got an argent fast enough to collect eggs, we started our preparations to get to Wyvern by building a Wyvern trap in the desert <laughs> next to the Wyvern crack. The simplest, plus easy to build and easy to repair, is one made out of stone behemoth gates. Here we're finally gonna find some use for the uh, generator. <laughs> the wind. Was the spacing on that one? No. It's just adjacent to the other. It's a bit closer. Well, like you do need now, it doesn't seem we're gonna need any ceilings or anything else. Why you don't just make a wall of uh, behemoth gates and finish the story? Shoot through the sides. first one uh, you can pass through and the second one the third one you cannot this one you but only us not the wyvern I think a wyvern can pass through this once you've built the main cage block the end up with pillars you want them wide enough so an Argent can fly through them, so you can escape when a Wyvern's following you, and it'll get trapped inside your cage. Hmm. I mean, we could hatch it tonight, and uh, now, nah, I don't know. I just don't want to waste time at all. Okay, now for an updated base tour. We'll just wait for it to load in. We started to metalise the bottom of the living quarters, and we've added more turrets on top. You can see how I've arranged the ballards, so raiders would have to take a longer route coming in at the sides, as a block from walking up to the main door. On this side we've added a greenhouse, as we needed somewhere to grow the vegetables for all the kibble. All the water pipes are coming off our main well at the centre of the house. The well is at an angle that you can't change, and therefore so are all the pipes. This is our backup column of water tanks, so if for some reason we need a lot of water, we can take it from here. In this room we have a vault and a small crafting area, so if there's a sandstorm we can build in here without getting affected by it. At the moment we're metalising this side of the base. Those three gates are to have mini gun turrets behind them to shoot down at any raiders. The door to our first dino pen is now a fake door, so now if raiders blow it, they'll find a metal wall behind it. This area has now been converted to our incubation room. The hatch in the ceiling lets the Argents in and out from the levels above. In this part we keep the growing baby wyverns. And here is the air conditioner area where we hatch the eggs. When the wyverns get bigger, we'll bring them through this door to the main dino pen. This is where we keep all our dinos at the moment. I've reinforced the corners with metal posts, that's what the turrets are on. And this ramp takes us up to a shelf where we store more dinos. The penis horses are stored on this side, their structures stick up quite high so you have to give them enough space. Yeah. 
We turned that turret off so it doesn't shoot any emerging babies. Through here we have our kitchen areas. This half is where we make meat jerky. And in this other half we have a well room. And this is where we're going to place our industrial cooker. I'm just getting all the pipes set up to make sure it fits. On this side we have our chemistry table. Our industrial forge room. It gets really hot in here at the moment because of the stone. So I'll just turn it off while I'm doing this tour. Through here we have a corridor to the main dino pen, so we can place a phalanculo next to this doorway and bring a metal to the forge through here. I'll just close these doors. Up here we have a generator rooms. We've got two doors this side, the bottom ones are fake. But in the top one we've got a generator. As you know if you've watched my Scorched Earth tutorial, the generators get damaged on this map if you use them. And when they reach zero they get destroyed. So to stop us losing power I've created multiple generators on the same power grid. How to do that's covered in my electrical power grid video. So if your main generator gets destroyed, a backup will turn on and take its place. At the moment we have three generators all connected on the same power line. We're placing a second vault here so we can access it from the main adobe living quarters. There's a ladder there to the next level, but I'm going to show you the main way up there. Up this ramp we have a middle storage room. This is where we keep the stuff that we want to take out. Like stuff to tame the dinos, narcotics, crossbows and arrows etc. Plus spare sets of armour in case you get killed. Up here is the adobe living quarters to keep us cool. This side is a shelf to the dino pen. And here we have a new main crafting area. And because it's full adobe you can stay in here as long as you want without it getting too hot. Through here we have a chute for the audience to go up and down in to change floors. This will be extra storage and a hidey place to sleep in. This door brings us to the front of the base. It's going to be double walled to give us a buffer zone if we're attacked from the front. And we're thinking of leaving these long corridors and put turrets in them. So if raiders did manage to get inside, the turrets will be able to shoot them from a distance. So it'd be like creating a kill zone within your base. Oh, almost forgot. Up here we have those three dino gates that you saw from the front. So in this room we'd put a manned minigun turret behind each, and open the door to reveal the gun if we get attacked. We're in the process of deciding which parts need to be adobe and which parts need to be metal, because if you man the turrets and it's all metal in here you're cooked to death. This room is where we keep all the flyers, that's the main way in and out at the moment, but we have to change it as we have to open the main doors to let the flyers out. This is an upper level of the main house, and through here on this side is again the main dino pen. This level is a spare at the moment. I tried setting up cables so I can experiment with wind turbines, but they didn't work out so I removed them. This door takes you through to the roof. Because we made one of the house levels three high, this roof became uneven, but we'll level it off when we convert it to metal. I'll make my way down because there's a few things in the living quarters I still need to show you. Over here is our new second vault. It's built right next to the workbenches, so we can move the materials into it at the end of the day. Down this hatch is our first vault. It's walled off and this is our only access to it, as that's where we keep all the good stuff. We'll surround it by metal when we've got resources.
That hatch leads down to the power gen room. And this ramp is where we gain access to the industrial forge, so we can collect the metal ingots and move them to the crafting room. I'll go downstairs so you can see the base of the front section. We've used foundations when we could, but where the ground's uneven we've had to use ceiling tiles and pillars. After much thought, we decided to coat the outside in metal, plus the lower levels, then just leave the middle living area in adobe, and we're in the process of converting that now. And that's how far we've got with a base. We've got everything to set up to raise a wyvern, we've been out and got some eggs, so we're going to hatch them. I've done tutorial videos on how to get wyvern eggs, and how to raise them from babies up to adults, and you can find those in the ARC playlist at the end. <gasps> it's a little sandy dragon, bless. Oh my god, it's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at it! <laughs> it has 8,000 health! It has fucking 8,000 health! <gasps> oh, oh little fella! <laughs> Oh my god! Let me more, but I'm stuck. Thank you. No, there's no moving it. It's staying right there forever and ever. It's going to be a door and sit there. <coughs> um, the poison one's mine. Uh, yeah, hey, he doesn't die. know. Oh my god! You sleep with Sky too. That was a beautiful <laughs> now moment. Just, it's his greatest just... life. It's his greatest life achievement ever. It has. It is. It, it is. <laughs> No, just shoot him. You know, fuck saving that baby. I, I, I am, I am the best person in the world. Has got his gun out ready to shoot her? <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he, we literally got. I, I um, panicked and I got a level one twenty wyvern to knock out, and I had to use. Hunley used all the darts and then I had to get out of my crossbow and knock it out. Well, don't use. Well. Just ditch for high ones and just go for the low ones. I know. It's, yeah, I know. We just panic like. Like, There's it. loads of crevices and shit you can fly under. Yeah. yeah, I know. It's just, yeah. Isn't it a lovely sand colour? Oh, it's so it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to spend the next several minutes trying to find out the perfect name for this. So I promise you, <laughs> it's orange! No. Okay, guys. Its name is Carrot. We should have named him. No, his name's Tango. Tank. Oh my god, look at him. He's ugly. He's ugly. <laughs> okay, so it needs care every 3 hours and 15 minutes or something like that. That's the birth of our very first wyvern. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye.